So hopes were high for Rumble in the Jungle at, Don at Doncaster. Things didn't quite go to plan that day. What's come to light since? Well, nothing's come to light. Um, we scoped him after the race. Everything was seemed fine with him. Um, we sort of thought may maybe the ground wasn't great for him and they changed it to good to soft. And the draw, we were probably drawn the wrong side where the race was unfolding on the other side of the track. He's done a bit of fast work Saturday and pleased us and um, all systems go for the middle part next week. And he seemed to hit his head a bit on the stools when he tried to ping the start. Would you think that was a factor in it? I don't know. You know, there was a few things that sort of didn't go our way and um, it could be one of the reasons, but I'm not really looking into that too much. I think um, the horse has come back. He's, he seems fine at home. He's worked well. The lads are happy with him and um, hopefully it'll stop raining this week and um, it'll be a dry week and we can go there with a good chance, really. And how do you see the race shaping up on Saturday? Well, it's going to be a competitive race, but we've got, you know, we've been wanting to step him up to six furlongs for a while. We stuck to the five for, for Goodwood um, and obviously the Flying Childers. But, um, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to stepping him up to six. So you retain all your enthusiasm that he's the horse you hope he is? Yeah, when you see the form of the race, you know, we, we beat Archie Watson's horse, Soldier's Call, cool by three lengths pulling away at Goodwood. Um, Queen of Bermuda won yesterday. You know, the form in the bag is, is very strong and, um, you know, I think you need to put a big line through his run at Donny and, and hopefully we can um, make amends next week.